Okay everyone, this is Lazarus and today we will talk about Ochado and Bobak. So let's start with Ochado. Ochado comes with a team skill that gives everyone 12%, no matter their nationality or color, so this guy is not racist at all. And a matchup win bonus, so once he wins a matchup, his shot special skill force is 50% higher, and that is very good. Special skills are super technique dribble with 455 momentum, another S ranked knuckleball shot with 465 momentum, and a set of A ranked pinpoint pass with 270 and swift interception with 295 momentums. Hidden skills are bond with exactly two French players that gives everyone 2% and considering one of them at the moment is a super sub, you will basically give 2% only one half, so that sucks, but hey, uh, who knows when the new meta Napoleon will come. Another bond with exactly two agility players that gives everyone 2%, so considering that super sub Napoleon I talked about is blue, you will have to substitute Napoleon with another agility player to have that 2% or mix it even more to make it work. Skill block cancel and that is always great just for the sheer amount of skill blockers in the game and pressure so after you win at matchup against someone that guy will have minus 7% on his stats on his next command. Goalkeepers are not included here. When you look at his stats you can see that he he has the most of his stats in dribble and that makes him very one-dimensional. He will be a decent passer when he gets an S-ranked pass, but for now there is no use of covering that and even his defensive roles. He is practically invisible there. So his role is basically to dribble and shot. That is it and considering his dribble is 64k, that makes him very good at that job. After you dribble just once, your shot will rise to the power of 71.1k, so that is very good and could give you a lot of goals, especially against toughness keepers, just because of the color advantage. Now I would like to say that for a guy that has only one role and that is like I said dribble and shot, he is a bit disappointing, especially for a new DC character and with those very specific bonds you will have a hard time activating them. Even whales will have a hard time putting this guy at their main team just because there are so much better all around players with defensive and offensive capabilities than this guy. One day this maybe becomes a really easy to activate but now not so much. I would even break him should power speed dribble 25 to maximize his potential in those things he is made to do well. And now let's talk about Bobang. Bobang comes with a team skill that gives every non-Japanese player 15% and full power gauge up as a passive so you start a match with full power gauge boosted to 15%. Special skills are long legged volley with 455 momentum, another S ranked swift interception with 415 momentum and a set of A ranked technical pass with 265 and long legged tackle with 290 momentum. So I guess this guy has long legs right? Hidden skills are bond with three or more toughness type Japanese players that gives everyone 3%, another bond with five or more skill type players that gives everyone 10% auto intercept, so that is very good. Penalty area master, so he is 15% stronger inside the box, auto intercept 100% in the middle area, which is awesome. And another awesome hidden skill that is recovery 50%, so he will recover really fast. When you look at his stats, you can see that he is a well rounder defensive and attacking midfielder and the forward. He sucks in dribble though, with only 22k his pass is terrible with 33.2 but once he gets a better S rank pass he will be great there too, that's why his 1-2 is just that great with 55.8k. With his tackle he is invisible but his interception is at a very good level 
56.2k. His shot out of the box sucks, so I just jump right onto the passive active side. So in the box he has a very good volley at 68k and because of the fact that he is very good on high balls he is 82.2k there so yeah that's awesome. Once he gets a good ground shot he will be very dangerous on the ground too. Everything seems perfect right? Well, not so much. Uh, his high ball special skill and his one two that makes him so great are trapped at his another dream collection unit and that just sucks. So it's like this. If club doesn't put those skills in the shop and you are poor and don't want to fall into club's trap and go for another bobang to make this guy good, I would say don't go for him. But if you are a whale and you say to yourself I wanna kick Laza's ass on his live stream, then sure, go for it. I will even break him, shoot power 25, pass intercept 16, technique 18. If you will play him with Aoi and shoot power speed 25, intercept 21, technique 4, if you don't play him with Aoi. So yeah, that's basically it. If you like this video, like it. If you didn't like it, fuck it, right? You can tip me with Streamlabs if you wanna, with a link to Streamlabs in the description below. You can come to our Reddit, Ketsubasa DT, to hang more with us and talk more about this guy. You can talk more about this guy here too on YouTube if you wanna. Fun because you rule. Uh, maybe I'll even stream today. Who knows? We'll see. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. See you later.